Hey everybody, welcome to Snark Week at the Dad Challenge Podcast. My name's Dad. That's right. And you're here hanging out with me on this beautiful day that we have today. I don't know what day it is. It is what it is. Today we're snarking on the whole entire Holine family or the, I don't even know, it's a Griffiths? I think it's a Griffiths. It's like eight passengers, some weird looking dude, looks like a serial killer. Then there's Bonnie Holine, your favorite and mine. Then the other two I've never even heard of. This is really interesting. Someone sent me this Q&A video and I'm thinking, yeah, I should talk about because this, I guess they're answering all the questions. But I, I don't know who's got the biggest channel. I guess we're going to go through and find out. But this is like every single person in this family has like a million subscriber channel. It's crazy. And now what's her face? Um, Ruby Dooby Doo is out on the outs. She's not even like they hate her. Like she's out because of the shit she's doing over on what's it's called connections or i hate santa claus because santa claus can suck my ass that's what she's doing and um secular music is from the devil so her family's like oh my god chill lady so whatever let's get to it <laughs> If you're new here, thanks for joining. Hit that subscribe button. Smash the like button in the face. <laughs> really appreciate you guys being here. Anyway, I've been covering um, Eight Passengers for a little while and Bonnie Holine for a little while as well. Um, Bonnie's my favorite of all these people just because uh, she's really weird and her lips do this and she talks. She's like, I can't do it, but she's really good at it. Um, but it's interesting. So Ellie Meckham, Mecham, sibling Q&A. So this is about... They're going to ask you the questions about all the Q&A and it's going to work. It's going to be a revealing look into Mormon family weirdos. And we're going to maybe we'll find something out we didn't know about before. Like maybe Bonnie. Hey, remember that time you shit on a towel in a van? That was another time. Maybe Bonnie is like a serial shitter in vans. Let's find out together, shall we? I'm sure it'll be fairly fun. Hey guys, the question that wow. I get asked most is. She looks like Micah. <laughs> we're already laughing. <laughs> <laughs> I don't know. Why are we laughing? How many siblings do you have? Who's the oldest? Do you have a brother? Is Bonnie adopted? Is <laughs> <laughs> I can see why you think that. That dude there, though. <laughs> it's gonna be fun. Wait, is that the guy from the from the other one? They had a kid who like stabbed another kid. We'll get to that. I'll talk about that soon. I think that's the guy. Maybe not. And I twins. So I thought. I think that's him. It'd be fun to sit down with my siblings because we're all together and do a dedicated video to share with you who we all are. Yeah! Yeah, Ellie! <laughs> so, I think we're going to start with the oldest. We'll work our way to the youngest. Um, your name and how old you are, I think, is a good start. Okay. Ruby Southern! I'm just... Okay. I am Ruby. I am the oldest, and I think I'm 33. I'm pretty sure. <laughs> I was hoping that you'd say definitely, because I was like, oh, this is legal. I'll just <laughs> subtract Same two here. from you. <laughs> it's funny. It's a funny guy. Oh, my God. Imagine Christmas with these people. <laughs> it's awesome. I'm pretty sure it's 33. Okay. Well, that means you really just don't know how old you are for real. Because it's not funny. I'm 31. What's your name? These people have birthdays? Do Mormons celebrate birthdays? Bo Griffiths. <laughs> He's Bo Bo. Bo Chad. <laughs> I'm Bonnie. I am the middle. I'm Bonnie. I'm 30. On Thursday. <gasps> Happy birthday, Bonnie. I don't know how old this video is, so she's like 39 now. Or Happy something. birthday, Bonnie. <laughs> I am Julie. I'm number four of five, and I am 27 years old. Yeah! And I am, obviously, you know, because you are on my channel, I am Ellie and I am 24. And we are not twins, but we used to play twins. Really, you're not twins? You're three years apart, you're not twins? Cool, I didn't, I can math. Yep, yeah. and we used to play Siamese cats. I was really, okay. really hoping that song would end, like, <laughs> when I was like 18, 17, <laughs> but 20 years later. <laughs> <laughs> Oh my god. Okay. Yes. <laughs> so I thought we should do a QA because I think that would be fun for you guys, but I also think that it would be fun for us. So I was originally gonna go to You're lying. to Twitter like I normally do and ask for questions. Twitter. But then I decided it might be fun for us each to ask questions and put it in a bowl and kind of talk about it. So I think we'll go. Are you sorry? <laughs> I was like, don't do oh, that. <laughs> Over. Actually, yeah, I'll send the bowl over to Ruby. You ask the 
the question and we can all answer or we don't have to all answer just a few so kind of that poor dude <laughs> you know he got bullied at school just in mormon school hey outer dark hey keith What's up, TK Smoothie? That's what they at Mormons. That's how they make fun of you. They tell they bully you. Have fun in your darkness, loser. Maybe depending on okay. Yeah, because there's quite a few in there. Okay, here we go. It's Blink. Dad? <laughs> Jackson? <laughs> <laughs> Who put that in there? <laughs> You're grounded forever. <laughs> well, that was Blink, too. <laughs> what? Okay. When you wanted something, would you go to mom or dad? Blind dad. Well, I know answer is if we went to mom, and she said no, and you went to dad, you were in huge yep. trouble. You can't go to bull. No, no. Nope. It's one. That's silly. You should be like, okay, well, you gotta sort of feel that out. If I know, because I, I, I know, as soon as someone comes ask me something, because I'm always like, ask your mother. I don't care. Don't ask me. She's like, I already asked mom. And, I, and this, this is simple. Well, what did she say? Well, she said no. Well, then what do you think my answer is gonna be? What is the thing you need? And if it's reasonable, they can convince me. I'm like, oh, okay, go ahead. And then Kathy would be like, oh, why'd you say they could have it? Well, because you told them to come ask me. So then I said yes. And she's like, well, you should have. No, then you should have just said no and then left it at that. Sorry. Sorry for your luck there, lady. Or the other and whatever the one said, that's what you got. Yep. Yeah, mom and dad were on the same page. That basically just said mom. We would mom. go to mom. <laughs> mom. <laughs> She'd say yes. <laughs> Surprisingly, when it was, if you were in trouble or something, surprising, because dad is more of the disciplinary kind of, but big things, like when I wrecked the car, Dad was the when I shit in the gutter, all bodies is gonna be like, when I pooped in dad's hat, <laughs> when I did that bank heist, when I murdered those people in the forest, when I shoplifted, when I burned that building to the ground, when I did that whole spree of serial killing, when I drank a whole bottle of tequila, when I made that pipe bomb, when I did the football team. Let's go, let's go. Next one. Or calm, compassionate. When I ran his car into the garage, <laughs> Mom, I thought I'm never gonna see the daylight again. And Dad, he came out and goes, What happened? <laughs> Just like that. I'm trying to think what I'd do if Everly drove the car in the garage. I'd be like, Really? What in the fresh hell happened here? And if there's a good enough excuse, I'd be like, Well, <laughs> a little angry, not gonna lie. Are you okay? You're okay? Okay, you're grounded. Forever. All right. Let's go have some smoothies. Yeah, Mom, he would surprise us. Mom ripped me apart and dad, mm. come on, let's get home. <laughs> so your mother can beat your ass. <laughs> Sorry, Mom. The youngest one's like, I don't remember any of that. I never got in trouble. Raise your hand if you wrecked dad's car. <laughs> <laughs> oh, four of them wrecked their dad's car? None of y'all driving my cars. Hey, dad, can I take a car? No, you can walk your Mormon ass wherever you're going. All y'all wrecked my cars. So you know what? Suck my Mormon ass, and you guys can two feet and a heartbeat it to wherever the hell you're going. Bowling or whatever the shit Mormons do. <laughs> you're not the best driver. They just didn't let you have a car. Sorry, Mom. What's well, something you do with your family that carried over from your childhood? Oh, this is a good question, actually. Like traditions. Did you hear? Did you Well, Ruby's like, well, we're really mean to our kids. So there's that. We were like, we're super strict. They don't get anything. Um, we charge them rents and stuff like that. Uh, you know, we expo expose their, their privacy. We make fun of their acne. Our kids put milk on cake and shit. What's that all about? First thing that comes to my mind is Christmas. Because we always stayed home for Christmas. Yeah, but Santa Claus doesn't exist in your world, douche. We didn't go and stay Christmas at Grandma's house mm -hmm. or anyone else's house. We had Christmas Day here at home and opened presents. And, and that was home. my, yeah, stayed home in our pajamas and ate. You guys didn't get together? This big of a family who's that tight didn't get together for Christmas? That seems sad. All we wanted, and we never had to part with home on Christmas Day. And I think we all do I that. Like that. I'm out of town, so it's different for me. We've actually had Christmas at both sets of grandparents. It's been a little different. And we've had, we had Christmas with both sides before, but I do like that, because that's what we've been doing more and more. Boring! What, you what is one thing we do? Again, it's I gotta, uh, Christmas is my favorite. It's such my favorite. Is that when Santa brings the stockings, we have Santa leave the stockings outside of the doors. 
It's one of the coolest things we do when we all get... And Kathy's thing is we, uh, we have to wear matching pajamas. She buys them. And we wear them once. What do you do with your kids that you swore growing up you would never do? They sleep in our beds. <laughs> <laughs> Tell me you have a dead bedroom without telling me you have a dead bedroom. Sorry. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, Calvin sleeps in our bed like 99% of the time. What if you want to do things? I find myself giving in. Like, if I tell Cooper, I will take that away from you if you don't stay in bed. I take it away and I give it back to him. It's hard. <laughs> Mom and Dad made it look easy, but it is so hard to be consistent. Growing up, Mom and Dad were allowed to swear, but the kids weren't allowed to <laughs> swear. Is Mormon swearing? I'm telling, I'm telling Justice Smith. And <laughs> Olivia tells me all the time, Mom, don't say that word. And at first I'm like, oh, you're right, honey. And now it's like, I'm going to swear if I need to swear. Kids don't swear. Moms get to swear. No. <laughs> what was our most annoying... What about weirdo there? Looks like a Ken doll. Came right out of the packaging. Answer some questions, bruh. Habit. I have an answer from Bob. <laughs> I always did this growing up. Do you remember? Yes, you did. And like, I had to have this touch. It was a habit. Ew. And I didn't like it, but I just had to do it. It was like... Hey. I just had to. This is shitty. Ruby, after every meal, yeah. would do this. And she would suck in her stomach. <laughs> oh! After work. every meal. Okay. I still do that. Didn't you do that the day That's once? weird. Anytime I walk or why? we're going... Why? Why do you do it? A answer why? Somewhere, Bonnie pushes me. Like, walk faster, Julie. Like, I'm not walking fast enough, but every time it's... <laughs> Keep walking, and it would make me so mad. And every time I... That's because you're walking slow. I'm with Bonnie on this one. If you're going to a mall with me, you better be a fast walker, okay? Because I ain't, sh I ain't dawdling. I'm there to get shit done. If I walk anywhere, I'm like, let's go. I got calories to burn. I got places to be. My wife, I sometimes look at her and she's like, where'd she go? She's not even out of the car yet, and I'm in the mall. I can't do it. I have to walk fast, okay? My kids are fast walkers because of me. I'm like, let's go. I got hands and we're like, let's do this. Like the freaking flying V from Mighty Ducks. Let's go. Oh, that's why I hate going to the mall at Christmas. I do all my Christmas shopping online now. People who just dawdle at Christmas time at the mall. I'm like, do you not see how busy it is here? Like I'm straight up going to push you over this railing, okay? Move, lady. Olivia along I think of you. And I know something I did that Bonnie didn't like was the way I drank my pop. She would take it. No, to drink pop is a Mormon. What kind of Mormons are these people? Drink and I don't I like switch it between my teeth somehow. Oh I hate okay. it. my mom did that with jello. Oh yeah. <laughs> <laughs> this guy's like her cuck. What is Answer a question, dude? Oh do. That's what I was wondering. Come on, Does girls. Bo have an annoying habit? Dude, this guy is basically a sister. <laughs> Can you imagine growing up all these girls? Can you imagine? Holy! Aww. But we love Bo. He's perfect. Except he when you deleted all of your my... history class. I'm a history buff, and I took my studies extremely seriously. <laughs> Got all of her work on a floppy disk. You know those old three and a half inch floppies? Yeah. I'm sorry, I didn't mean and to. And I had it saved to the computer, and you, what's it called when you clear out the computer? Delete it? Format it? Completely. Yeah, I cleared out the computer. Yeah. Format it. You formatted it. It's gone. Serves you right, Ruby. Probably deserved it. Oh, once I realized I did, I really felt bad. I'm sorry. sorry. She's still holding it. She's like, I still hate this guy. I don't even, we haven't talked since he deleted my history work from the floppy drive. Ruby, you know she'd be petty enough to do that too. Those would be around for when I took the class. Bo <laughs> <laughs> hated us singing. You hated us uh, singing. I remember that. Yeah, I feel bad about that too. <laughs> <laughs> Bo, no, you don't. Bo doesn't give a shit. Also hated us running around in our towels. Poor Bo. All if the girls he's not blame him. This just got real awkward real quick. Right? It's not just me I'm feeling, you guys feeling that. If he saw any skin, he was ticked. Girls, get back in the bathroom, get changed there, and then go. And yeah. Ellie, growing up, I'd put the towel way up here because I was so cold, and my bare bottom would show, and I'd run around the house, and he would get so mad. Ellie, what are you doing? I wish we could show them the mirror because you would also run and jump like a hyena. <laughs> I am uncomfort. 
Her body to fit in the mirror. But the key point is that was after the shower, so I was always naked. I would run across the house and jump up. Get a whole body in the mirror. I would like... Okay, we got it. Arnie or whatever your name is, we got it. Yeah. I tried and see if my whole body could get in the mirror. What was something you broke or ruined in the house? Uh, I'm sure you broke everything. You broke your dad's car four times. You ungrateful bastards. <laughs> was it you? <laughs> Ruby's was like, I broke my mom's favorite dish for church. You were me who broke that little picture frame. The red? It was you. It was gold it. on the edge. Yeah, you did grandma's. because I was threatening to tell mom with every. Yeah, yeah. I threw a ball and hit one of my grandma's cute little. It was a round little picture frame and it cracked the frame. And you, one day Ellie said, that's it. I'm going to go tell mom so you don't have to make me feel guilty every day. So she went and admitted it to mom and I was kind of down. I was like, oh, I don't, I don't have anything to do with her now. <laughs> mom. And then she beat me with a belt and this wooden, haunted wooden spoon. She has a bunch of these little cute cows and we were doing the dishes and there was a fly in the window and the cow sat in the windowsill. Sat on the windowsill. I don't know what, this is so sad. And I was like, flip and fly, bam. <laughs> I think they all shattered and mom walked in, didn't say a word. I, I thought I, it was not. Then she beat me with a belt and this wooden spoon. Funny. Do you know what she still has them. I think she saved them. because I broke them like a week earlier. Like we all broke those silly. How did she keep getting more? Is there more? Is she gluing them? What's she doing? Yeah. I have a story. I have a story. Yeah, hitting the fly too. That I remember mom when mom built her first house she had brand new appliances for everything and she had this beautiful new stove and I was Trying to get on top of the stove in the cupboard above it. Hey, it's so better be good. I was carrying a hammer. Oh my But I was carrying a hammer <laughs> and I got across the stove and I dropped it and it Dinged the top of her brand new stove. It wasn't more than like a month old. But then she beat you with a hammer and this wooden spoon <laughs> That's sad. And I remember, I remember being so scared, so scared. And mom said, I would take a hammer to my stove any day over mm. one of my children. I what? You'd re <laughs> would hit my stove with a hammer instead of my kids with a hammer. Well, I hope so. Thanks. Thanks, mom. Thanks for that. Awesome. I'm gonna go now. And she's like, it's okay. That reminds me Didn't of Bonnie's you... story. Oh, I was thinking the same thing. What? What? I think Bo dropped a pot on the wood floor when we first moved in. And it really did. There's a crack in the wood yeah, kitchen it's... floor right when we moved in and dropped it. Are you talking about serious? You guys didn't do anything serious? Really? You didn't? Except for smash your dad's car all the time? And I remember I stuck a guy and I got pregnant. Like, what, what? Tell me a good story. Tell me something good. Yes, I am. <laughs> All of us were sitting somewhere in the kitchen. One was on one appliance, one was on a counter. It was in the morning. <laughs> Mom probably had just had a baby or something. It was like sleeping with the baby, I'm sure. And the milk and the cereal were on the counter. And, and the cake. I was on the fridge and I knew I could make that jump. <laughs> we all did. It was like you yeah, jump from the fridge to the, the fridge, counter. the counter, go around the counter, over the stove, or jump back from the fridge, <laughs> go around the kitchen. Without... It's Mormon parkour. We got it. I got it. The floor. That was the game. And we did that all the time when the counters were clear. Go on. And I jumped and I leaped and I did this with my arms. <laughs> and the milk jug went flying and the syrup went flying. And it was like, how did I <laughs> and then mom beat me with a hammer in this wooden spoon. Spectacular. I was there. I was there. I play that memory all the time. It's one of my favorites. I think I was like five years old and I was just I like, was what was going yet. on? You were probably yeah. in bed with mom. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> probably was the baby, yeah. I think I vacuumed up a rug once and everyone said, that's your inheritance. <laughs> <laughs> Is that funny? Is that funny? <laughs> I'm I'm not trying to, how's that funny? <laughs> oh, she sucked a blanket into a vacuum. I get it. This was only a few years ago. I had a wax pot downstairs that I spilled on the carpet, and I was like, how do you get wax out of the car Heat gun. carpet? It was a full tube of wax. Why do you just have a tube of wax? Bonnie grabbed a towel, we plugged it no. in an iron, and ironed it. No. 
We we got it hot and literally waxed it off the carpet and it's still sticky a little bit down there. And mom said the same thing. And mom said the same thing. She goes, Oh Ellie, you can ruin my carpet as long as I have my kids, pretty much. And I was like, oh I still love you, but try not to ruin my shit. I don't tell your kids, hey, if you ruin stuff, I'll still hey, you know what? Don't ruin shit and I love you. But if you ruin shit, I'll be pissed. That's cute. Well, I have a story about carpet. Um, Bo for April Fools thought it would be funny to soak onions in a spray bottle of water for a week. And on April Fools' Day, sprayed the girls' this carpet with onion water. So it stuck like the for like. Bo, that's not funny. That's like permanent. That's not no, a joke. No, no, I don't like that. You deserved it. We all peed in whose bed? Yeah. <laughs> whose bed? <laughs> whose bed did you pee in? Just me though. We all peed in the heater vent. You in the heater vents? What? Why are you peeing in a heater vent? Why? Like what is it? Why? You want your house to smell like pure piss? What's wrong with you? You smash my car. If you piss in a heater vent, you're grounded. I'm hitting you with this wood spoon. What? In the heater vent, you get out of the shower, put your blanket on, you're sitting over warm air. Yeah. Every morning. <laughs> I think that's just Ellen. Why are you peeing on a heater vent? <laughs> Ew. Or for April Fools, you know how they say, oh, let's put jello in the shower cap. No, the powder jello. Both cubes of jello in the shower. So when it turned on, it was like, plump. <laughs> <laughs> they think it's hilarious. Everybody else in the room is like, <laughs> okay. Ellie thought it would be funny to put <laughs> pee to put pee somewhere. To put Oreo cookies in my underwear. <laughs> <laughs> Mormons, <laughs> you silly Mormons. These people, ah, oh, you put Oreos in my underwear, you <laughs> silly goose man. What about like? Putting like hot sauce in someone's friggin' eye droppers. Like, do some shit, man. This stuff isn't funny. Cookies in my underwear. <laughs> I put my own cookies in underwear so she'd roll over to it. <laughs> well, when oh, when she's sleeping? Ew. <laughs> Crumbs everywhere. What have you done and gotten someone else to take the blame for it? <laughs> you know, Bonnie's like, I did shit in the microwave and I blamed it on Ellie. <laughs> They're not saying it. They have some of these people who kept some shit to their grave. I feel like I always took the blame for it and I always owed Bonnie favors. Is that <laughs> an answer? <laughs> well, I was going to say, I don't know if anyone took the blame, but Julie had a C in math and she didn't want me to tell mom, so she owed me a hundred favors. And Ellie did something and she owed me a lot of favors. I don't know if that answers the question. Bonnie was like a favor shark. Like a low. So. <laughs> What you're telling us is that Bonnie's a narc, and if you didn't want her to narc, you had to owe her some shit. Sounds like Bonnie's like the one who went into real crime. Favor shark. So we had to do that. Does, exactly what Bonnie does anyone did. know what these favors are? Look, oh. my armpit. No, literally, Ew. my makeup on. Ew. Sniff my head. No, no, don't fake it. Sniff my head. Lick my eyeshadow off. Bonnie Why would you, is that a favor? Why is that, how about, hey, clean my room, you know? Pour my cereal. Go do the chore that I was supposed to do. Why are you saying lick my armpit and shit like that? That's not a favor. That's weird, people. Okay? Not normal. I was on makeup in high school. Still do. <laughs> yeah, she does. I think Bonnie's the only one, maybe, like, I know this other probably got Botox and stuff, but Bonnie's the one who's got, like, BBLs, boobs, tummy tucks, like, facelift, chins, face, everything. She's got everything done. <laughs> She's the black sheep. Ruby's, like, the oldest narc everybody hates, but Bonnie's the black sheep. Dad would say, though, if finally he realized, oh, yeah, this isn't the person that should be getting in trouble, he would say, well, this is for all the time you should have gotten into trouble that didn't get in trouble. <laughs> Okay. This may not go with the question, but I do remember Bo practicing. We had a clavinova that could record, and we were supposed to practice 30 minutes a day. All of us did. Ew, clavinova. And Bo came up with a way to record his practicing, and every day 
when he was supposed to be practicing, he would just hit the play button. So he got away with it. It's for, brilliant. For, I don't know how long you got away without practicing. But you were so talented in music that even the music teacher didn't even know you didn't practice because you just are good at everything. Yeah, Bo, you asshole. Reenact mom brushing her teeth. <laughs> Sit louder. Reenact mom brushing her teeth. I Should we all do it at the same out. time? Ready? Three, two, here. one, go. <laughs> <laughs> It's not funny, you weirdo white people. The other kids are the other one that doesn't know. She slurps like her water, like no, she brushes like this. Oh, she throws her shit brushes, and then she throws I think Ruby's probably better off. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? <laughs> Ruby's probably like, they have forsaken me. It's okay. I'm good. We're good. Yes, oh, I don't know. <laughs> <laughs> Who are they looking at on the other side of the room? Favorite part is her hugging the toothbrush and then sucking the water. <laughs> and her toothbrush looks like this. <laughs> that that Ruby doesn't know what's going on. She's like, I don't know it either. These bitches over here are weird. The other ones don't get it. There's things that we understand that they do. I don't. started pretending to brush my teeth, but I really was just <laughs> looking at you for cues. <laughs> <laughs> okay. Who is Wormy? And where wormy. did the name come from? <clears throat> wormy. <laughs> and that came from you and me. Yes. We were weeding the garden. And she ate worms? And Bo found something. A worm. worm. <laughs> so we decided to put it in Julie's hair. <laughs> okay. And then Julie said she was going to tell mom. So okay. we decided to pull the worm out. But then the worm had... Worms dig. Did you know that? They dig. Yeah, thanks. We got it, dude. So they're like crawling through her hair, like, oh, pull it out. It had broken half, and so then she had two worms the in hair, her hair. The hair, cut the worm out. It's still it's a dead worm now. Yeah. It did. The worm kept multiplying, and then we thought it was fun how many worms could we <laughs> get in Julie's hair. And I don't remember any of this. You don't remember any of that? I just remember being called Wormy, and I remember at school the teacher said, okay, write your full name, first, middle, and last. So I wrote <laughs> Julie Wormy Griffiths. And she said, mm, your middle name, not your nickname. And I was so confused. Because we don't have middle names. Yeah. Why? Mormons have middle names? Bo does. Us girls don't. Why does Bo have a middle name? Is it because it's the patriarchy? Yeah. What? Anyway, so that's where you got your name from. Yep. We put worms well, in Well, anyway, there. thanks for the story there, Bo. <laughs> that was about the same time there's a bunch of tomatoes. I have memories of tomatoes. I don't remember if it was you or you. Me. It was you. Yeah, that's what I thought. Have to at the house. Yes. <laughs> I'm Bonnie was in jail at some point in time and was on the FBI most wanted list somewhere in there. <laughs> I like Bonnie. I'm not gonna lie. I know I make fun of Bonnie, but I would be friends with Bonnie. The, the big window, the back of the house, we just chuck them. Covered in the it house. in tomatoes. All the tomatoes in the garden. What a waste of gardening tomatoes. The the house. Um, this is the last question. Thank God. Who did you fight with the most? Okay, I'm gonna just use my expertise. Nobody fought with Bo, but Bo's going to say he fought with Bonnie the most. Everybody fought with Ruby the most because Ruby is a narc, for show. But it also could be Bonnie because Bonnie's a shit disturber, okay? The youngest had a problem with Rubes. That's what I'm saying. That's what I'm saying. About what? I fought with Julie the most. What? We were closest in age, and it was usually because... I kept getting in her closet and using her clothes. Oh, that's silly. We fought a lot. I we, both <laughs> we still hate each other. I'm going to cut you after this video. Oh, we're really not, bad yeah. We fought a lot about just like little nitpicky little things like stop making that noise. Like, stop stealing my boyfriend. Stop. <laughs> stop shitting on the vent in the bathroom, weirdo. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Just the dinkiest little thing. Yes. I fought. Oh, go ahead. Say, I'll let you two decide who fought with me <laughs> I, You and me fought oh, yeah. all the time. They, probably, they got into fist fights, those two. Like, full on. Ding, ding, ding. Let's do this. Everybody hated Bonnie. Or, what's her face? Ruby Doodly Doo. Mm -hmm. yeah. I feel yeah. like I fought yeah. with you the most. Yeah. Well, like, we fought a lot. Uh, we we fought I feel a like lot. we fought a lot. See, they're all fighting with Bonnie. No, we all fought with Bonnie. Bonnie's the felon. We all hated Bonnie. We fought a lot. I feel like I bullied you two. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Well, I punched him. Defended you. And Bo, I oh. never remember not even one. Bonnie not even. Chase? Yeah, Elliot, Elliot ran to me. And we didn't fight very often. But and then I'd punch Bonnie in the face. 
I do have a question. How many of you have a battle wound for me? Um, I'm pretty sure you have a battle wound from the Matt. remote control for me. I remember biting Bo and I've scratched him. Oh, I I'm don't. Sorry. You, have a, you have a scar from a scratch? You pussy. Bo and you're like 15. We didn't really. I have battle <laughs> scars from Bo all over my body. You oh. and me fought and you and me fought, but I never remember fighting yeah. with you two. Yeah. Do you remember, was it Orm I was chasing you with? I'm pretty sure they're like 10 years apart, that's why. You're on yeah, plans. you were chasing me with a worm and I was on roller blades and I still have scars. <laughs> Victoria. She sliced her knee open. She yeah. slid into the into garage. and I never fought. Nope. Yeah. <laughs> this is the worst high five ever. Yeah, high five! <laughs> this is the worst Mormon high five I've ever seen. That's why I'm a favorite. Other than biting you that one time, because I liked your friends. I don't remember you. Because oh. <laughs> I liked your friends. <laughs> Does this guy have a family? <laughs> I remember that. I remember I was in a tent and Bo poked his head in and I didn't like him poking his head in and I spit in your face. Aww. I remember and that. Wow, that was very nice. Stairs, and I remember thinking, why did he, he finally caught me and he and beat the shit out of me. He was so mad and we just kind of sat there. He didn't do anything. He just caught me and I was like, why did I even do that? Because <laughs> you're a biatch when you were young. And now. Good thing. And later. We all get along now. Yeah, hey, you definitely, you definitely all get along now, except for Ruby. <laughs> They're all like excommunicated Ruby from the family. Ruby's only answered like one question. Are you thinking Bonnie Skidmore? Yes, I am. <laughs> Skidmark, your name is Skidmark. I bring that up because Scott Skidmore is our next door neighbor, and he was like the, I don't know, how do you describe Scott Skidmore? A serial killer? Carpenter? Oh. Mm -hmm. Yeah, like, that. he was great to all the kids really and everything. Friendly. And he, like, drilled it into me, because, you know, he'd see me fight with all the, you girls, except for you. Um, <laughs> okay. And he'd always, like, drill it into me. Oh, you need to, you know, love your sisters. They're going to be your best friends, and they have been, like, incredibly. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> Aww. I did not know that about him. Again, why Skidmark? You said Skidmark. Yep. Yeah. That's cute. That's his, yeah. Awkward moment. <laughs> yeah. yeah. Well, guys, that was such a fun video to do with my siblings. It was really fun to talk about old memories. I okay, hope I that care. you enjoyed this video. I didn't. I enjoyed snarking on that damn video. I mean, those videos would be pretty good. If <laughs> it's just fun to snark on them because all of these people, I'm pretty sure every single one of them exploit their children on YouTube. Like every single one of them have used this formula. Even the grandparents. The damn grandparents have a YouTube channel. They've all used YouTube to get wealthy, and they've all used their kids to do it. And they're all a bunch of a-holes. I think even the dude, Bo, whatever his name is, pretty sure. 191,000 uh, subscribers, which is crazy. They have 22 million views, and they've been around since 2017. Okay? The channels that are connected is going to be eight passengers. There's was 2.3 million subscribers. Bonnie Holine with 1.39 million. The Daru Clue crew is one of the kids, I think. Ellie and Jared was the Ellie we just watched. 1.6 million. Then there's Sherry, Jared, and Today Task. So I think this might be Daru Crew might be Bo's channel. Is it Bo's channel? I don't think Bo has a channel. Bo Griffith. Hold on. Oh no, Daru Crew is Bo's channel. Cool. So the the other sister doesn't have a channel then. I don't know the names. Anyway, they make a lot of money. They have made tons of money. And uh, that video aged like milk because, um, yeah, Bonnie's, because Ruby Doobly Doodly Doodly Doo has literally alienated her whole entire family because she decided to be a douchebag of a parent influencer and telling people to like be the worst parents ever and live in distortion and shit like that. Just And they had a great dynamic. Like it sounds like they had a great childhood and everything else. And Ruby just threw it away because she wants to be right. Or she, I don't know. She wants to be even more hardcore Mormon than everybody else. Such a weird dynamic. Anyway, it's funny. It's good to snark on him. Have some fun. It is what it is. Maybe I'll go down Griffiths and all these other videos and do some snarking. Maybe someday. Anyway, everybody take a deep breath. That's nice. That feels good. You guys are amazing. Thanks for being here. I love snarking with you guys. Tomorrow we dance. So get ready to get on the wheel. I think tomorrow, because it's the end of the month, I'm going to put every single person. I hopefully I can do it. I'm really, really just going to try my best because I have, I can't put every subscriber, but I can put every member and every Patreon on the wheel. It's going to, I don't know. I'll try my best. Oh, I hate promising stuff like that. It's going to take me so long to do it, but I'm doing it for you because I love you guys. So be here tomorrow for some dancing. I'm going to give away some prizes and we're going to have some fun. 
Don't forget how amazing and beautiful and gorgeous and beautiful and gorgeous you are. Your hair looks good. I hope you feel better if you're feeling low and down. A lot of people are. So if you are, I'm with you. I'm with you. And I hope you feel better. And I will see you guys tomorrow. Tomorrow.